In this example, we're going to show you how you can use the quick times to put together estimates for jobs that are not yet in production. So let's say you've already been working on a little bit on a job. So you can see I've got three steps here. I want to add another step. So it's just standard uh, timer pro features. Hit the right button. We're going to append the task. And let's say this is attached blower. And it's going to create a new task out here to the right. We just go anywhere above the task here and hit the right mouse button. And then we can call the quick times. And up comes our quick time sheet. Now here what we can do is we can enter any number of motion sequences that go in to create the task. So I might double click here. And let's say you're going to go get the blower. So first of all, you're going to walk. So you click on the walk. And let's say you're walking unobstructed. And you're walking seven paces. So the time for that is going to be 3.78 seconds. Then you're going to get something. So you're going to get something. It's a single part. And let's say it's 18 inches away. Now the time's added to that. Now you're going to walk back. You click on the walk again. Now you're actually walking with the blower. So you're going to pick this one up here. And let's say you go back the same number of seven paces. And now we're up to eight seconds. And then you're going to place it down. You can place it down just with a loose fit. And let's say it's 12 inches away. So the total time for this particular uh, step is almost 10 seconds. So you might say, get blower to unit. OK. And then you click on the save, and it adds it here as the first item. And now you're going to get the screws. You can double click here on the next one. And you're going to get a jumbled part. And let's say it's uh, 18 inches away. And then you're going to place them. And you're going to place them with an the exact fit. And it's going to be 12 inches away here. And, I want to, and let's say we do that four times. So we're going to do that four times here. And they say get screws. OK. So we place them in there. And then we're going to save the worksheet. Now we've got the second one. And now we're going to say double click again. And this is going to be our activity to a line blower. And then we're just going to grab to get the unit. So we're going to get the unit. It's a single object. And let's say it's 18 inches away. And then we're going to place it with an exact fit 18 inches away. That may be to get a light blower. So that's we're building up each of the steps here. And then we're going to um, double click here. And we're going to secure screws. So we're going to get a tool. We're going to get tool. And uh, pick one of those, and we're going to do the tool use. And we're going to use the screwdriver. And we're going to turn the screwdriver with fingers. And how many times we're going to turn it? We're going to turn it, uh, let's see, uh, four times. OK, so we've got a time, seven seconds to attach the screws here. And then we save the worksheets. That's going to be tight screws. And then the last one is just going to be a side unit. So we double click this. We're going to get the whole unit. It's a single object. And let's say it's 18 inches away. You're going to uh, walk with it. And you're going to walk uh, unobstructed. And let's say it's three paces. You're going to take it. And you're going to place it down with a loose fit. 12 inches away. OK. So say unit aside. OK, I click on this. So you can see what I've got here. I've got five steps here. And it's going to go, that's my entire task for the attached blower. And then all I do is I click on the Save to Balance. It will take these steps and drop them right in here. So you can see I've now attached my blower. So you can, you can see if I hover over this, you can see the actual motion analysis for every single element I did here. So you get complete backup of everything that you used from the quick times area here. And you just keep on building up your process, like just describing what the operator is doing and putting together your estimates for the job. And once you've got your job defined, you can come up here and go to your reports. And you can send out the report to a motion analysis. And it will pop it right out here. So there you can see the first three steps here. These are the ones I got from another source. But here you see down here, I've actually got, here's the description for the attached blower that I gave it. Here is the times. And you can see the times here are exactly the same. Here is a detailed motion pattern. And here is the actual sequences here. So I can actually extend this. So you've actually got a methods analysis right here 
showing you exactly what the guy has to do to do this job. And of course, then you can watch the video of the job and decide whether these are accurate or not. But here you've got a complete description, motion by motion, of what is going into that job that you've just described here in the background. And this is an excellent starting point for looking for improvement opportunities and to get rid of some of the non-value added work and content and so forth. So you can see what we're doing here. We're building up a motion analysis from your estimated data back here in the analysis that you've been doing here.